Hey guys, welcome back. Let's learn how to make a screw jack. For that, we'll have to make the parts, then assemble it, and for college purpose, we'll have to make a 2D drafting. Let's get to know the parts of a screw jack. This is the body, this is the nut, screw spindle, cup, washer special, CSK screw, and Tommy bar. These are the parts. Let's make a body on the inventor. Let's go to File, New, Standard MM, Create, Create. Let's start the sketch. Let's click on Start Sketch. Choose a plane. I'll be choosing XY plane. Now let's start drawing the body. The base diameter is 140. So I'll be drawing half of it. That is 70. And then I'll revolve it to get the appropriate shape. The height is 20. There we go. We draw that. Use the line command. That height is 185. With the distance over there is 70. That's half of 70 would be 35. Then the distance over there is 40. Let's draw the bottom 3 mm gap over there. Let's take line. 3 mm would be the height. And then the distance would be 50. Okay, let's join that. Yeah, fine. Now that all of this is done, let's extend the bottom line over there. That's 100, half of 100 is 50. So let's draw another line and then delete the line or trim the line 50. Let's delete the dimension and then let's delete the line. So we got the bottom part. Now let's take the distance 66. That is half of 66 would be 33. Let's draw the line. Let's do the same thing what we did over there. Let's join that and then let's delete it. No, not that, yeah, this one. Delete. Let's join those lines. Okay. The distance over there is 25. So let's draw a line of 25 and then pull it down. We can just offset the other line by a 10 mm gap. Offset 10. Click on enter then 10. Yeah. Perfect. Let's trim the extra portion before that. Uh, let's extend the line. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, now let's use trim. Trim that, trim that. Yeah, perfect. We have to fillet the uh, curves over there. Wherever it's required. For that, we'll use a fillet option. Fillet would be 1. Click on those two lines. Is it done? No. Okay, there it goes. Then these two lines. Yeah, perfect. Now we have to fill out the other part, which has a radius of 8. So this that would be 8. Yeah, click on those two lines. Perfect. Now, a part is ready. Finish sketch, and we have to revolve it. Then you'll get the 3D view of it. See? Choose the section over there. Choose the axis. Done. Click on OK. There goes a body. Go to File. We'll go to Eye Properties. Physical. Physical. Let's choose cast iron and uh, there it goes, apply. 
yeah so we have chosen the material for the body let's save the body go to file save as to write it as body or whatever you want not ipt save so body is saved let's make the nut for that we we'll have to go to file new standard mm create start sketch choose your plane now start drawing let's draw the bottom part that is 50 so half of 50 would be 25 let's take the length that would be 45 minus 10 minus 10 that would be 25 That's 90 minus 50 divided by 2. 20. The height is 10. Let's get back with 20. And again the height is 10. This is so simple. And the height is again 10 and then just cover it up just draw the axis line so that you can revolve it on it now the distance over there is 38 that is the diameter so half of 38 so half of 38 will be 19 and just extend the line over there now let's fillet the portions which have to be filleted radius is 5 choose that line those two lines these and there there it goes our nut is ready click on finish sketch and revolve it okay um revolve goes over there yeah choose the profile and then choose the axis there it goes let's go to manage to tools materials let's give a material for it over here the material is not visible so we ourselves can write down the material this is how it's done click on the plus icon identity write the name of it and then you can apply it change it to metal type would be metal apply cancel so now once we got it over here just click on it let's go to eye properties physical choose the given option gunmetal yeah apply there it goes our nut is ready let's save the nut go to file or uh, save as name it as nut nut save Now let's make the screw spindle. Let's go to File, New, Standard MM and Create as usual. Let's start the 2D sketch. Click on the plane. What is the total length of the screw spindle? That will be 240. Okay, 240. Yeah. And then the length of it is 38. Half of 38 would be 19. Let's get back. So it would be 240 minus 83. That is, just do that and you'll get it over there. 157. There it goes. It's as simple. The distance over there is 22. Half of 22 will be 11. Then over there it's 13. So let's draw that. 13 okay and that depth would be 65 minus 22 divided by 2 32 yeah 21.5 perfect let's extend the line take it up over there so we just need to revolve it right now later 
we'll put the holes in let us chamfer it choose that distance would be 410 over there and over here delete that finish sketch and we can revolve it after we revolve it we'll put in the holes now click on the profile and then click on the axis there it goes let's jam for that let's make it one okay apply cancel now the hole over there the distance of the hole is 35 from that side and the diameter is 12 choose the origin or choose the plane after that new sketch go to so line go to line that would be 35 and then draw a circle of 12 diameter okay finish sketch now extrude that oh, yeah extrude it on both sides having cut option perfect a hole is perfectly ready we need to give threading for this with a 3mm offset click on that full length give an offset of 3 uh, the length would be 154 apply oh you need to click on specification ISO metric profile size is fine apply cancel uh, it's almost done Now we need to make this hole. The length of the hole is 35 and the diameter is 12. So let's get back. Let's click on hole. Let's choose concentric. Let's choose the plane. And then concentric reference. Yeah, there it goes. Perfect. Let's choose that option that was 12 and that would be or oh, half of 12 that would be 11 this is 35 apply perfect create done so our screw spindle is ready we need to give threading choose the threading all those options then apply cancel let's go to view view style a frame so by this we can see everything is perfect let's get back file eye properties physical let's choose the material that would be fe 410w that would be fe 410w and apply so once this is done once this is done, let's choose the property, face property, let's save it, you can save it as crew, spindle, let's save. Let's make the cup. For that, go to File, New, Standard MM, Create. Let's start a 2D sketch. Let's choose the plane. The distance is half of 45, that would be 22.5.
Okay, that would be even more simpler. Distance is 42. That distance is 32.5. Let's join those two points. We can offset it or we'll we can um, the distance over there is twenty two point five and the height is twelve. The rectangle option is twenty two point five divided by two and height would be twelve. Yeah, perfect. Let's offset the line. That would be Six perfect. Let's trim it off. Let's join those two lines and then let's trim it there and there. Finish sketch. No, one more thing is left. I think no, everything is done. We'll finish it. We'll revolve it now. Let's choose the axis. Okay. Now let's go to origin and choose a plane. Let's draw a circle on the plane so that we get those semicircles of radius 5. Five. Yeah, ten. Let's extrude it on either side and get the cutout. Let's choose another plane. Okay, let's draw on this new sketch or diameter of 10. Let's extrude, do the same operation again. Both sides, okay. Now this is done. Let's choose the property. Let's go to I property, physical. Cast iron, that's steel cast, apply, close. So this is done. Let's go to file and save it. Save as, cap. Let's make a washer. Let's go to file, new, standard mm, create. Let's start a 2D sketch. Choose your plane, start drawing. The diameter is 35. So let's draw a circle of 35. Let's extrude it, fillet it, and let's make a hole. It's as simple as that. Finish sketch, extrude it. Now the distance is 8. Click on OK. The fillet radius would be 1. the hole choose the option called concentric choose the plane and then choose the concentric reference click on that option and the and the diameter is 25 the bottom diameter is 14.5 yep. perfect apply Cancel. Let's choose the property for that. Let's go to I property physical. Should be FE. Apply. Close. Let's save it. File. Save as. Let's save it as washer. W A S H E R. Yeah. Done. Save. Let's make our CSK screw. Let's follow the same steps. To start a sketch then let's click on 2d sketch choose a plane now let's start drawing choose the line option the distance over there is 30 so let's take a line of 30 then the bottom distance is 12 half of 12 would be 6 distance over there is 30 minus 6 
30 that would be 24 distance over there is half of 24 that is 12 let's join those two points yeah let's click on finish sketch Uh, yeah, for the sketch. Let's revolve it. Choose the profile, then the axis. Done. Let's chamfer it. Distance is one. Apply. Cancel. Let's make the notch in the front. The distance is 2 and the depth is 3. Okay. We can uh, draw a rectangle and just extrude it. New sketch. Center point rectangle. 2 point center. Sorry. It's 2. Now the depth would be 3 on the other side, yeah, 3. Perfect. We'll have to give the threading. Go to threading, click on that, specification, apply. Oh no, we need to choose ISO, isometric profile apply. Let's go to file, I properties, the option should be fe yeah apply close our screw is ready let's save it let's go to file save as csk screw last but not the least let's draw the tommy bar let's follow the same steps start sketch story sketch The length is 275. Two seventy five would be there. Yeah. The bottom distance would be ten as the total distance is twenty. Half of twenty would be ten. Other side distance would be six. Half of twelve is six. Distance is uh, 62. There it goes, 62. That distance would be 10 minus 6. That should be 4. Let's make it simple for you guys. 10 minus 6, 4. Let's join it over there. Mm, yeah. Let's make the curve over there. That distance would be 10. Basically, we'll be drawing an arc. Choose those two points and then over there. Delete them, delete this. Trim that. Just draw a line. We'll chamfer it. Chamfer. Choose that option. Distance will be 4. As the length is 4, distance will be 4. Click on those two lines. Uh, that. There it goes. Finish sketch. Yeah. Revolve that. Choose the plane and then choose that plane. Choose the axis. Okay, there it's and that's the front view. Let's go and choose the properties. That's I properties, physical, then the material would be FE. Apply and then close it. Properties. The face property could be um where is yeah. 
there it goes curl no link if you want you can choose that if you don't want you can just leave it we'll choose chamfer for the top part and the chamfer is one then later let's go and save it let's save it as tommy bar Let's assemble 3D model. For that, we have to go to File, New, Standard MM in Assembly section, and then Create. Place, click on Place. Choose your body. Click OK. Select it over there. Yeah. We'll have to ground this. Go there, right click, and ground. Place another object that's not will be going in order so let's see. choose constraint yeah that's the thing the center line where you get that and over here okay let's click on apply cancel let's move that up and down now again let's click on constraint and choose the two faces where it's required this face or where it has to be joined that face yeah apply so once you click on apply, it's stagnant over there, but you can rotate that nut. Let's choose the next object. That would be the spindle, screw spindle. Let's click on free rotate. Rotate it. As required. Let's click on constraint. Let's choose the center point of spindle and the body. Click on apply, cancel. There it's fixed. Let's click on constraint and choose the two portions that should be attached. Okay. Offset distance is 33. Apply, cancel. Once this is done, let's insert the next object. Let's place it right. Yeah, perfect place next will be the cap okay again choose constraint and do the same constraint yeah the center point of that and center point over here okay apply now choose constraint again choose the below portion and the above portion which should be attached apply cancel yeah <coughs> here we go perfect yeah now let's choose the uh, csk screw before that let's choose the washer okay over there freely let's rotate the washer okay use constraint and again place the washer over there yeah now we need to use constraint again to place it properly see you can see that moving up and down so it's not fixed to the cup let's use constraint see from another angle Mm, yeah, let's zoom in, turn it around a bit, yeah, chose that, now let's turn it totally upside down, chose that, perfect, oh yeah, it's fixed, let's click on apply, cancel, now let's put, now let's attach the CSK screw, center point, and the center point of this, washer where are you ah, there it comes even the screw can move up and down so we need to place the screw right even the screw will move up and down we need to place the screw properly choose constraint body alignment choose those two portions yeah apply
rotate it so that it aligns with uh, all the holes over there. Perfect. Let's place the next object that's the Tommy bar. Let's use constraint. Choose the hole over there and that, yeah, apply. Let's pull it out a bit. Oh, there it goes. Slightly inside. Hmm. Yeah, perfect. Now let's save the file. Let's go to file, save as, screwjack assembly, let's move that one. Screwjack. Save it. After saving, let's start with 2D drafting. For that, we'll have to go to file, new, ANSI MM create in drawing section. Let's go to ANSI large and delete that. Let's go to sheet, edit sheet, A3 size. Okay. Now let's go to base. Let's choose our assembly object. Let's choose a view, top view. Let's choose the style that we want to see it in. Let's scale up the size one by two. Okay. Let's place it properly. There we go. Let's use section and section the object. Over there, there. Continue. Let's click on projected. Let's go down so it becomes proper. Okay. Let's take that up. Let Fine. That's good. Now let's take another view of an object. Go to base again. Click on the edge of the cube. Over there we have another view. Let's choose that style. Let's choose one by two. Isn't that large? Yeah, that's fine. Let's take that place it over there. Now let's bring in the part list. For that we'll have to go to annotations. No, yeah, annotations. Mm, let's go to balloons first. Auto balloon. Select wide view. Select the object on the drawing sheet. Yeah, yeah, do that. Click on vertical placement section should be vertical. Hmm, perfect. Let's click on apply. Okay. Cancel. Now that now once this is done, let's go to part list. Choose the object on the drawing sheet. Okay. Yeah. Let's place it over there. Uh, we don't need description. Do we? You know we don't need. We we'll remove description. Click on right click, part list, yeah, go to that. Let's remove description and let's put in, what do you call that? Material. Okay. Apply. Let's enlarge this. Thanks a lot guys, we'll be back soon.